It's so delicious that it's criminal. So delicious that it's criminal. It's criminal. Well, my YouTube friend uh, Bob in Arizona suggested that I trim my Kalahari horned melons with a pair of scissors, so I'll just try that. It's not the best method, but it's, uh, well, let's see how it goes. It's not the best method, really. No. There we are. Oh. As usual, it's not the best method because there are little thorns. Are there? there are little uh, thorns right on the end of each. Uh, well, you, if you break off the little spike, it um, doesn't make the fruit rot. But if you cut the horns off like this, oh, oh, they start to bleed. See the bleeding there? Oops! Can we see the bleeding? And they will heal themselves, but they don't always. I mean, they can make the melon go bad. But in the industry, the horned melon growing industry, you, they just uh, sand them off on an emery wheel. You just simply take the points off, like you break off the tip on a lead pencil and render the uh, spines harmless that way. But I'm going to, I've been using this method lately just for fun with uh, a few melons. I just cut them just to dehorn them. Just a quick way of dehorning. If you're only doing one melon, it doesn't hurt to de <laughs> to dehorn it that way. It doesn't. See how it's bleeding? They will seal, but sometimes it can cause the fruit to rot. It can cause the fruit to rot. I'll be back in a minute when I finish dehorning it. Yes, the from the Kalahari Desert anyway originally, and um, from the Kalahari Desert. And uh, they're a relative of the cucumber. They're called Cucumus metalliferous. And I don't want to swallow any of these thorns. Don't want them stuck in my throat. Oh, they're very sharp. But this is just a quick method for one melon. But if I were doing a whole lot, I'd be sandpapering them. Or using an emery wheel or a welding glove, gardening gloves, plus some... Um, uh, Gardening gloves plus some heavy sandpaper just to break the points off. And that's most of them done now. I'll give that a wash now that I've got all the points off. Got just most of the points off. I'll give that a wash and I'll be back and have it with ice cream. Not quite finished. Just about. Oh. Those vicious, wicked points. It would make a great grenade to throw at somebody. Imagine being hit in the head with one of these. I bet in the ancient days, well, not in that, just in ancient days, but I bet there would have been occasions when somebody threw one of these horrible spiked instruments at a person's head, and it would have caused a lot of injury. That's it. Now I'm going to wash it. The skin isn't quite as ripe as it can be when it's, well, I mean, for decorative purposes, the skin is uh, usually sold when it goes orange, but this one is ripe enough because the seeds are jellyish and ripe and green enough. Look at those beautiful, beautiful, look at that. Look at those beautiful, beautiful green seeds. Beautiful with ice cream, plain vanilla ice cream. Lovely stuff, look, they're already coming out, look at that, in the bowl, beautiful, lovely. That's what we want. I'll just scrape them out. Yes, I'll try and scrape them out without, without squirting them. <laughs> they sort of do squirt out a little bit. They just sort of squirt out. I can't work towards the camera, can I? Look at that anyway, we want that jelly pulp, we want that beautiful jelly pulp. I'm sort of doing it backwards, and I've got a shadow here too, but nevertheless, 
but a uh, beautiful pulp we've got. Oh, it's lovely. Look at that all coming out. Isn't that wonderful? You can actually fill that with ice cream or something, scrape it out and refill it if you like, with whatever you like to do with it. That's beautiful, that pulp. Look at that, it's fantastic. Yummy, let's taste it. Mmm. How oh, wonderful. Mmm. So, although they do taste like a cucumber when they're younger, when they're ripe, they taste like they're like this, like they taste like uh, an exotic tropical fruit. Well, I mean, they're not the same as cucumbers. They're relatives of cucumbers, but they're not the same. You can fill that shell up with ice cream or something if you want. But I'm going to have this, this lovely jelly, on ice cream. Mmm. Yummy. If you can grow, if you can grow cucumbers where you are, you can grow these. You can. And I mean, they're very worthwhile. Yes. Beautiful fruit eaten by the Bushmen in the Kalahari in Africa. Oh, yes. That's just about it. And I'm ready to have it on my ice cream, this beautiful pulp. And it's delicious. Oh, it's wonderful. Beautiful stuff. Yummy. This is the lazy way to, oh well, to make ice cream, but here we are. We have a little cup of ice cream. Put that on. You got the idea anyway. It's nice swirled into the ice cream, of course. But look, it's beautiful stuff. The vanilla ice cream brings out the beautiful flavour of the horned melon. Lovely stuff. Gorgeous. Mmm. Most underestimated fruit. I'm surprised they're not more popular. Mmm. Yummy. Mmm. So delicious. By the way, don't wear gum boots when you're making a film in the kitchen because it squeaks. So here I am. Here I am, eating cucumus metalliferous. Is that stupid thing turned on? Is that stupid camera turned on? It's so delicious it's criminal. It's so delicious it's criminal. <laughs> 